بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد When a prisoner is going to be released from prison then people in the area in the vicinity where he's going to return to become worried they become stressed depending on number one the crime which is involved in is he a kidnapper does he run a syndicate of abducting young girls is he a drug lord etc so based on his crime do people get worried secondly based on the magnitude of his coverage is it only the town is it in the city is it in the entire country and number three based on his past history so his profile his portfolio what is his resume days are ending we come into closer to the release of a prisoner whose crime is very notorious there's no department is left open he's conquered all avenues of crime magnitude of coverage is everyone from adam alayhi salam till the day of qiyamah and history has got a very good track record shaitan the shayatin are going to be released this month of ramadan was a preparation for that So when this prisoner is going to be released in the area, in the locality, people have implemented steps to curtail, to make sure that they don't fall under his trap, under his wings. We also need to be cognizant of this fact. And this was the month when Nabi Ali Salam's badwa is a person who doesn't get maghfir. The least a person should achieve in this Mubarak month is they should leave with the maghfir of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some Mashaikh Hazrat Zainul Al-Musri used to say that what is Tawbah? Hatta idha daqat alayhim al-ard bima rahubat When the earth becomes constrained and you feel there's no opening When a person commits a guna and he feels there's no way out, I'm cornered In my only avenue, there's one door to open That's the escape door, that's the fire exit Is the door to Allah When a person who goes to that door, then he is a ta'ib. He's running away from ma'asiyat. Other mashayikh say, إِذَا ذَكَرْتَ ذَنْبَكْ لَمْ تَجِدْ حَلَاوَةً إِذَا ذَكَرْتَ ذَنْبَكْ When you remember your sin, the guna that you committed, you don't find pleasure. Allah make us maaf today. On different platforms, people take pleasure and enjoyment of boasting, promoting the ma'asiyat and disobedience. To such an extent, ulama explained that it is a sin for a person to ponder while he's intimate with his spouse on somebody else. That is a sin in itself. So when a person commits a guna, لم تجد حلاوة He does not get any pleasure, but he gets grief, worry and concern overwhelms him. يَعْلَمُ الْأَلْدَ جَرَاتَهُ عَلَى اللَّهِ He comes to know that I have been bold in the past in front of my Allah. وَيَرَى الْحِلْمَ اللَّهِ عَنْهُ And he knows my Allah is the one that can forgive me. ثُمَّ يَتُوبُ بِنَ الذَّمْ And he makes tawbah from all the ma'asid. وَيَعْزِمْ Allah yarji'a ilai He makes a firm intention and is determined I will never ever go back to the sin kama la yarji'u laban min al-dhar Like how milk will not return to the teeth of a cow Like that he makes a niyat He will never go back to ma'asyat Alamash Adam al-Shaykh have said Haqiqatu al-Tawbah What is the reality of Tawbah? Al-Zihab ila Malik al-Wahhab Going to the one who is ready to forgive you, that is Tawbah. Al-Zihab ila Malik al-Wahhab. So we need to be turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to be crying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are all mawaqi' opportunities for us. The famous story of the person who killed 100 people. Initially he killed 99. Then he asked, هَلْ لِي مِنْ تَوْبَةِ Is any way out? I know I, I led a life. of destruction, I'm ready to repent, is there any hope for me? He went to a abid, not a alim, a abid. فَقَالَ لَا He said, no, there's no hope for you. فَقَتَلَهُ So he killed him as well. 
Then you went to a scholar of deen. So when we make mashwara, we need to go to the Ahlullah Ahl Ilm. Those people that Allah is blessed with this Mubarak Ilm of Nubu. So he said, definitely there is hope for you. Intalik ila ardin kada wa kada. That you made Tawbah now, you are sincere, but I need you to go to a certain land. Why? فَإِنَّ بِهَا أُنَاسٍ يَعْبُدُونَ اللَّهِ They are a group of people who are close to Allah. So ulama explained in amongst the eight conditions which we mentioned previously is to spend time in the company to be part of those who will take us close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَعَبُدِ اللَّهِ مَعَهُمْ وَلَا تَرْجِعُ إِلَىٰ أَرْضِكْ and make an intention never to return back to your land because this is a land which is filled with evil and guna and ma'asiyat. So you are doing good now, stay there by the place of good. So second lesson we learn is that a person shouldn't go close to that places where there's volatility, close to that friends where there's volatility, close to those websites, etc, etc. فِيهِ مَلَائِكَةُ الرَّحْمَةُ وَلَائِكُ الْعَذَابُ as he was going to that land, his ruh left him. So Farishtas from Jannat came, Farishtas from Jahannam came, and there was a dispute. So the Farishtas of Jannat said, Ja'ata ibn muqbilan biqalbihi ilallah. He has come to Allah making sincere tawbah. The Jahannam angel said, No, 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 no. Innahu lam ya'mal khayran qatu. But he didn't do any good in his life. He should be go to Jahannam. So there's different riwayat where Allah sent another angel. One is it was measured and it was aqraba bishibri in one hand span away, closer to the people of good, away from evil. So it was measured and it was closer there, so put him into Jannah. Another riwayat. Allah commanded, an taba'adi wa ila hadha an taqarrabi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loved his repentance. Allah accepted his sins sincerity so much, Allah commanded that, O earth, you expand and you earth shrink. And that's why he was found closer. And another white fanaabi sadri nahwa, as he felt the pangs of death, he continued crawling and going in the direction. And that little bit movement, if we combine all the riwayat together, it still there's no contradiction that as he was falling down, he crawled to the land of good and Allah SWT made sure that it will be part of the people of good. So that inside Jazba, Allah SWT looks at that. Imam Qurtubi, Allah give our ulama, Jazai Khair, what? Words of wisdom and hikmah they've taken out. So he was a commentator, he says, وَبِهَذَا يُعْرَفْ فَضْلُ الْعِلْمِ عَلَى الْعِبَادَةِ From thus we come to know the virtue of knowledge over worship. So not just making worship, our whole life we're making much worship, but there's no quality in that worship. It should be done properly, how Allah and His Rasul wants it. Not just read Quran, not just make Tilawat, not just read Salat, but to do the Amal according to the requisites. So this person became a Mufti, he was a jail, ignorant person. He thought, so mashallah, I spent time in the Shaykh now I'm a big Hazrat now. I spent time with Mufti Google, now I can go online and quote a hadith and Quran and give fatwas. فَأَفْتَى بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ That was his error. فَهَلَكَ فِي نَفْسِهِ وَأَهْلَكَ غَيْرَهُ The result of that is he destroyed himself because he was killed. So he was harmed through his own error. And in the result of that, وَأَهْلَكَ غَيْرَهُ Others also would have to suffer the consequences of his ignorance. And he says, with regards to Alim, أَحْيَاهُ اللَّهُ وَأَحْيَا بِهِ And when you go to the people of ilm, Allah gave the ulama life, and through them people around them will also get life. And he's mentioned also, هَذَا نَسٌ سَرِيهِ فِي أَنَّ اللَّهَ إِطَّلَعَ مَلَائِكَةَ الرَّحْمَةِ Allah inspired the Malaika of Jannah what was in his heart min sihati qastihi ila tawba wa hirsihi alayha that this ta'ib, this person, this assassin was sincere on his tawba and he was genuine whereas the Malaika of Adab Allah did not inform them 
because they said that he had not done any good in his life. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his unseen treasures open up, who opens up avenues and routes for people who are sincere. And in conclusion, Imam Qurtubi mentions, فَقَرَّبَتِ الْبَعِيدِ That was which was impossible, Allah made it possible. وَأَلَانَتِ hadid. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made lead, malt, hard lead, malt, and Allah made lead soft. That person's heart was hard, Allah was the one who made his heart soft. So we need to be making tawbah, repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ulama wa mashayikh say that one is nisyan we forget. Rufi'at an ummati, al uh, rufi'at an ummati al khata wa nisyan that from my ummah errors and forgetting. Allah has removed that. So there's detail in the, this point here in the hadith which you're not going to get into now. But the point is one is a person forgot. And one is he forgets that he's forgotten. So we, Allah has given us a responsibility, I need to obey my Allah and the responsibility for the diet of mankind. My fikr should be my wife, my husband, my children, my family, my locality, the whole of mankind, till the day of Qiyamah, that fikr, the concern, the worry of the deen, how it can come in me and the whole of mankind till the day of Qiyamah, this concern, this fikr, this restlessness has left the Ummah so much that we've forgotten, that we've forgotten. You send somebody to shop to buy some milk, when he comes back, where's my milk? He says, oh, I forgot. That's Nisyan forgetting. Nisyan and Murakab is, what milk are you talking about? Like there was a story of an elderly couple, they were forgetting, they reached old age, they decided, okay, let's go to the doctor, consult. The doctor checked them up, he said, it's normal, just have this, this year, and try to write things down because you prone to forgetting, it is old age. So when he got home, the wife was desirous of some ice cream, so she told ice cream, can you get for me, get the husband, can you get for me some ice cream? He said, no problem. She said, you better write it down, follow doctor's instructions. He said, no, I won't forget. It was leaving, she said, you know what, just add some whopped cream. Would you want to write it? No, no, I won't forget. She said, oh, okay, you know what, just add whopped cream with some cherry on it. Now you need to write it. He said, no, ice cream, what, whipped cream and cherry, I won't forget. She said, okay, while you're at it, write syrup. He said, uh, I know you're going to tell me to write it. No need to write it down. When everything was ready, he came back and in the platter he had eggs with sausages. Eggs with sausages. So the wife was shocked. She said, I told you to write down what I'm telling you. You know, my beloved husband, you forgot the toast. You forgot the toast. Nisyane Murakab. We have gone so far that we're actually forgetting that we've forgotten. We've forgotten Allah. We've forgotten our Nabi. We've forgotten Deen. So for this, we need to make Tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to repent. When a person is not sincere in the Tawbah, then they're not even ready to listen to anybody else. When somebody tells you your errors, your flaws, we should wait and think about it and be grateful that there is somebody else ready to take out my faults before I die in the cupboard and those faults are made known to me. So a sign of the weakness of our Tawbah is when we are told we are wrong or we are told of a flaw, we become upset, we become angry and we want to attack the person telling us this false. Whereas, instead of attacking them, we should be grateful to them. Like, uh, there was a wife, she saw a dream. So she tells her husband, I seen a dream last night. She said, what dream? She said, very good dream. Who tell me? She said, I seen that we were visiting a jewelry store and you bought me a 20 carat flawless diamond ring. So the husband says, I think so. I also seen the same dream last night. But in my dream, your father was paying for it. In my dream, your father was paying for it. So we're not ready to take responsibility. We're ending responsibility to everybody else. So we need to check ourselves all the time. Hasibu anfusakum qabla an tuhasabu. We need to make hisab and check ourselves before our hisab is taken. Read your salat 
before salat is read upon you, your janazah salat. We need to be checking ourselves all the time and don't hand it over to everybody else. And muhasaba, every day we need to sit, take one, two, three, four minutes and let's, let's ponder. If we need to keep records of our amal, if the husband and wife need to make mushwara about the deen in their life, the progress in the amal, then that's very imperative and important. There was a father, the son came home, end of the year, reports. So he asked the son that, uh, where's your report card? So he said that I gave it to my friend. So he said, yeah, you see, your, your friends are using your good reports. That is wrong. So he shouted the son that if that boy did uh, got a bad report, you can't borrow others your good report. It is completely wrong. So the son said, actually, he did. My friend wanted to scare his parents. My friend wanted to scare his parents. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us to think of value in these last few moments, 29th night, etc., day of Jummah, Babandi, what Surah Kaf, and all the Amal. The Amal for today was that uh, continuing with Istighfar. Man ahabba anta surrahu sahifatuhu fal yukthir. Whoever wants to be happy and pleased with his book of records means in Akhirat, if he wants to be happy with all the stages to come, فَلْيُكْثِرْ فِيهَا مِنَ الْإِسْتِغْفَارِ Then he should increase in his istighfar and tawbah. A person came to Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam and said, وَذُنُوبَا Oh, Nabi of Allah, I've committed a lot of guna. And he said it once, twice, thrice, Nabi alayhi salam said, Say, Allahumma maghfiratuka awsa'u min dhunubi. O oh Allah, your forgiveness is more vast than my gunas and my sins. Wa rahmatuka arja indi min amali. And your mercy, it is all encompassing. It is so encompassing and I am so hopeful of your mercy that I do not have any hope in my amal. So Nabi alayhi salam said, say this, he said it, then he said, repeat it, then repeat it. Then he said, now you can leave, فَقَدْ غَفَرَ اللَّهُ لَكَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made your maghfirat on this. So a lot of istighfar. Previously we did the virtues of reading the third kalima, at the end of the third kalima that's لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ so we can say it with third kalima hundred times morning and evening and if Allah gives somebody tawfiq, read it also more than that. قُلْ لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ Nabi alayhi salam told the sahabi, say this often, فَإِنَّهَا كَنْزٌ مِّن كُنُوزِ الْجَنَّةِ Because this is a treasure from amongst the treasures of Jannah. Nabi alayhi salam told Hazrat Mu'adh bin Jabal رضي الله عنه أَلَا أَدُلُّكَ عَلَى بَابٍ مِّنْ أَبْوَابِ الْجَنَّةِ Should I not show you a door from amongst the doors of Jannah? قَالَ وَمَا هُوَ أَوْ نَبِيَ فَاللَّهِ What is the door? لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ Constantly make your tongue habitual with saying لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ وَآخِرُ تَعْوَانَ عَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ